And Wendy, you, you work both internationally and nationally. Can you give us uh, some perspective on the national scope of the issue and the problem? Well, we're a country that aspires so admirably and is actually known around the world for its aspiration to be a place of equal opportunity. And yet, of all the advanced countries, where you're born, your socioeconomic background, is more predictive of your educational outcomes here in the U.S. than in any other advanced country. So a fifth of our country's kids are growing up below the poverty line, 16 million kids. Um, by the time they're four on average, they're at the first grade level. Um, and we will see only half of our high poverty kids actually graduate from high school. The half who do will have an eighth grade skill level compared to our top quartile kids. Meaning even the people we are applauding for walking across the graduation stage really are not set up to have you know, access to you know, the full range of op options, to say the least. Um, and that produces the reality, which is that in our country, 80% um, of our top quartile kids, uh, from an income perspective, will actually graduate from college by the time they're 24, while 8% of our low-income kids will graduate from college. So these are just sort of atrocious disparities, given, given the aspirations that um, are, are so inspirational and, and that our country is, uh, you know, works toward.